क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव सीन टिल नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द एक्सटेंडेड सरफेसेस और फिंस एंड हाउ टू डू द एनालिसिस ऑफ दोस एक्सटेंडेड सरफेसेस वी हैव आल्सो सीन व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द एफिशिएंसी एंड इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ द फिन नाउ लेट अस सी द सेम इन नटशेल Now we are going to see the summary in nutshell of the extended surface. So these are nothing but the topics that we have covered till now for these chapters. So in that we have covered what are the extended surface or what are the fins. So we have seen that if I increase the surface area of a given material, then the heat transfer rate that the value of H is increasing, and in terms the heat transfer rate itself is increasing. So basically, the use of extended surface most probably will increase the heat transfer rate. we have also seen the various types of fins we have seen the rectangular one then the taper one circular one conical one so the types of fin based on its geometry we have seen then for the analysis we have consider a uniform cross sectional rectangular fin for that we have seen that the equation that we get at the end of the analysis is d square theta by dx square minus m square theta now the theta is nothing but the temperature difference and m is some collection of variables now this we have done for the simplification or this we have done to get the differential equation in this format because we know that the differential equation in this format will have a ready made solution of this so this we have seen in the mathematics that the solution of this differential equation is given as theta is equal to c1 e raised to mx plus c2 e raised to minus mx now in this we have got two constants c1 and c2 now to get this or to solve these two constants we need two boundary conditions now based on the boundary condition we can classify the fins in three category the first one is when the fin is infinitely long now in this case my boundary conditions are the first boundary condition the first boundary condition is always at x equal to 0 my temperature is same as the temperature of the slab and the second boundary condition will vary according to the types so for infinitely long fin we can say that at x equal to l tl is same as t infinity now this is my first boundary second boundary condition for this case for this case at x equal to l since the tip is insulated we can say that dt by dx is zero this is my second boundary condition for this case and for short fin the boundary condition is at x equal to l we will say that q dash by conduction is same as q dash by convection so now this makes my second boundary condition for the short fins so the first boundary condition is common for all the three categories and the second boundary condition will vary now if i use this boundary condition and solve we can get to the expression and find the value of c1 and c2 by substituting the value of c1 and c2 in the general solution we are getting the temperature distribution in case of the first case that is the infinitely long fin the temperature distribution that we get is theta by theta 0 is equal to e raised to minus mx and now using this we can either use the fourier's law or we can use the newton's law of cooling and find the value of q dash the value of q dash in the first case is coming as root of hpk into theta 0 where theta 0 is given as t0 minus t infinity t0 is nothing but the temperature of the slab and t infinity is nothing but the temperature of the fluid around the fin similarly the second case where the tip is insulated the temperature distribution was theta by theta 0 is equal to cos hyperbolic upon cos hyperbolic ml and the temperature distribution the using temperature distribution we can find the value of heat transfer rate as root of hpk theta 0 tan hyperbolic ml so the tan hyperbolic ml term is the extra term that is need to be added to find the heat transfer rate for insulated tip for the third case that is the short fin the value of temperature distribution was something like this and 
the value of heat transfer rate was something like this. Now these derivations are quite lengthy and in this derivation basically the term h upon mk is very important. We need to first of all figure it out what is the value of h upon mk then the things can get easy. After these three analyses for the three types of fin, we try to find out what do you mean by the effectiveness of the fin. The use of the fin may not guarantee you the increase in heat transfer rate. This we have seen with the help of this term called the effectiveness. So the effectiveness is nothing but the heat transfer rate with fin upon the heat transfer rate without fin. We have seen that if I substitute the value of heat transfer rate for the various cases that we have seen previously, we can come up with various expression of the effectiveness of the fin. Now let us say for the second case where the fin is insulated at the tip, the effectiveness that we got was root of HP upon Ka. Now we can say that the effectiveness increases if the value of K increases, if the value of H decreases and if the value of P by A increases. So we need higher thermal conductivity of the material, we need low heat transfer coefficient of the fluid that is why we prefer fins at the air side as compared to the water side because when we are using the fins at the air side the value of H of the air is quite low as compared to the value of H for the water. Similarly what we want is the P by A ratio to be very high. Now this is only possible if I use smaller fins in more numbers. That is why we use thin and smaller fins to make sure that the P by A ratio is quite high. Now these are the three things by which we can make sure that the effectiveness of the fins are higher. Similarly, we have talked about the efficiency of the fin. Now once we have seen that the use of the fins are effective, we need to check that the efficiency of the fin is also high. Now the efficiency of the fin is nothing but the Q actual upon the Q maximum. Now what is Q actual? Q actual is nothing but the heat transfer rate of a given fin and the maximum is possible when we assume that the temperature of fin is nothing but the base temperature. So the entire fin is kept at the base temperature is what we assume and then accordingly we try to figure it out what is the Q dash maximum. So using this again we have tried to find out the efficiency of the fin for the first and the second case. The first case is when the fin is infinitely long and the second case is when the tip is insulated. So with this we have found that efficiency is given as 1 upon ml in case of for the second case that is the insulated tube the efficiency is given as tan of hyperbolic ml upon ml. Now again if I put the value of m in the equation we can write this as hp upon ka into l. So the efficiency in the first case is given as root of ka upon hp into 1 upon l. So the efficiency is high when the thermal conductivity is high, when the value of h is low but what can you talk about value of p by a? Now the p by a value should be low to have the higher maximum efficiency. Now this is the dilemma. We have seen previously that for effectiveness to be high, the conductivity should be high, the heat transfer rate, heat transfer coefficient should be low and P by A ratio should be high. Now this is where we need to optimize. We need to optimize the design of fin in such a way that the P by A ratio is not very high for uh, giving the less efficiency, neither it is very low for having the low effectiveness. Now that is what we have seen about the design of the fins or defining the diameter and the length of the fins as per the effectiveness and efficiency of the fins. Now the concept of thermowell is used to find out the temperature of the fluid that is flowing through the pipes or ducts. We have also seen that 
there comes the error in the measurement and the error in the measurement can be associated as TL minus T infinity term that we use in our expressions. We have tried to solve one problem based on thermocouple as well. Now that is it in the summary of extended surfaces. We have tried to analyze the fins and we have tried to solve the problem on the same. We have also tried to understand the physical concepts or the physical significance of the various parameter which are involved in the fins. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.